Do you know the difference between friable and non-friable asbestos? Well, this isn't a trick question. It's not got anything to do with McDonald's french fries. Mm, it's just making me want to go out right now and grab some. But friable is greater than 1% ACM by weight. And the difference between friable and non-friable means that friable can be pulverized or turned into powder with the human hand. So think about like an acoustic tile where we can smash it with our human hand, make it into powder, and that means that those fibers are released into the air. Non-friable means that it cannot be reduced to powder with the human hand. You need some other tool to do that. And that means what? means that if we are to pick up a piece of non-friable asbestos containing material, that by just simply picking it up, we really don't have the exposure of placing it into the air and breathing it into our lungs. And that means that it's a little safer. Anytime we're dealing with asbestos though, we wanna take all of the proper precautions. So don't get fooled into thinking that, you know, friable versus non-friable, non-friable is not dangerous. If I take that and I throw it against the wall, if I drop it and it breaks, now I have a release. So again, just because I can not crush it with my hand doesn't mean that there's not an exposure there. So that's a key difference and one that you need to be mindful of. Treat it all as hot, meaning it all contains asbestos.